Ancient Shining Ones. What it be? How it is? How y'all doing in these streets? Everybody doing good? Everybody I I hope you guys are doing good. I have missed you like a crazy person. You guys, it was the hardest thing for me like ever to just like take a break. Because <laughs> your girl is a workaholic. I love what I do. And when Abba's like, you need to rest, it's usually because I'm under immense amount of spiritual warfare that I don't know about. People will be trying to come for me in the streets. And I, all I have to do is rest. And, um, you know, my ancestors do the rest. <laughs> Not just my ancestors, but my animal spirit guides, spirit guides, angels, archangels, you know. We ain't alone in these streets, you feel me? So let's cleanse the energy here. Oh my goodness, it's after Easter, huh, y'all? I'm going to have to do a new backdrop. I forgot all about it. Okay, so... I hope everyone had a happy Easter and enjoyed their time with their families. If you didn't, you're not alone, okay? Abba was with you, cleansing the decks of any and all negative energy. Only beings of the purest one is let me seal this reading and give me advice. Seal this, did I say decks? I mean decks. Seal this reading now in Yeshua's name. Amen and amen. A whole and so it is. Therefore, let it be written. Therefore, let it be done. Ta-da. All right, guys. still kind of springy so I'll probably leave it for a little bit because it's so cute I just love my bunnies y'all <laughs> but I'll probably switch it up here maybe in a few weeks I don't know um okay let's just get some info from the coffee oracle deck here oh I was gonna do that <laughs> Purity. That's what some of these people don't understand that are coming up against you. <laughs> you outrank them because your heart is more pure. And they're jealous of that. Okay? They're jealous of your purity. Of all things to be jealous of, right? They're afraid of your purity. They're jealous of your generosity. They're jealous of your fruits, bro. Like, where they do that at? <laughs> Oh my goodness, people are crazy in these streets, y'all. Yeah, you were definitely dealing with a snake at one point or another. One way, one way or another. I'm sure all my homies and peeps have dealt with that, right? All right, so... What do you want us to know, great divine spirit? Again, they fear you. They are afraid of you. They are like a rabbit scared in the field, and they should be. Because you are not alone. You are working with the creator of the universe. Wrong one. Wrong one. Many people come across me just to learn a valuable lesson. It's crazy. And you guys need to know that if you're for me... And you have not crossed me. You have not done anything wrong to me. You support me, right? You have the same protection I do. Unfortunately, if you didn't, if you did cross me in some way or another, then yeah, it's you lost all protection, baby. But that's on you. Anyways, um, you hold the key to unlocking humanity into the 5D. Okay, guys? That's my Father, Son, and Holy Spirit card right here. Okay, so you are definitely making good decisions and choices, and you are a wisdom keeper. 
okay? You may be from Lumeria. You may be Mentokan, right? You may be one of the original light workers. You may be from Atlantis. That's my daddy card at the bottom of the deck. So God is definitely watching over you, protecting you, and you are just peachy king. Anything else? Anything else? Woo! Oh, just in case we didn't get it the first time, right? Success and pride is your middle name. And this is a good pride, right? Like uh, um, being proud of yourself, confident, strong. It's not toxic pride where it's in an ego, right? And success, okay? And on top of that, you got the Holy Spirit card. Look at that. Need I say more? Need I say more? Right? We'll just leave that right there for you guys. The dove may be significant, whales may be significant, and rabbits may be significant. You need to know that there are people doing moon magic over the moon, okay? Don't even give them a second thought, bro. <laughs> While they're waiting for the face of the moon, you're literally upgrading daily. Like, <laughs> when these fools gonna catch up, bro? It ain't about the moon, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is funny. All right. So, let's get some messages from my little uh, garden dragons that are so cute. You guys, I just love this deck. It's adorable. And then I thought we used the compass thing again because I really liked that the other day. It was so interesting. So, I thought we would use it again. Let's get more enlightened than we already are, shall we? I know my ancient shiny ones are down. forgot to tell you guys you guys lights do crazy things with me like legit lights are freaking insane with me okay um I think y'all know because y'all have seen before in past videos where lights flickered when I said certain stuff and whatever but I'm like so serious let me see like I wrote it down hold on where did I did I text it to myself I think I did hold on two 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 on the clock Baby, your angels are with you, darling. Okay. Um. Yeah, these people don't know who the hell they're dealing with. <laughs> it's so funny to me. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so the other day we were driving, right? <coughs> me and my friend. <coughs> I think we were going to the botanical gardens or something like that. I don't remember. But anyways, we were driving and we were going down this road and I was just minding my own business. Y'all know I'm in my own little bubble living my life, right? And she's like, dude, do you drive down this road a lot? And I'm like, what do you mean? She goes, oh, she was like freaked out. She was like spooked, right? She was like, we literally just went through eight green lights in a row. And then we were coming up to another green light, and it changed right when we said that. When she said that, and I was like, why are you going to say stuff, man? You ruined it. Because <laughs> stuff like that happens to me all the time. I'm like, oh, yeah, are you kidding? <laughs> my energy messes with the light bulbs, okay? Um, another time I went up to my, the, my regular coffee spot that I go to, I just went through the drive through that day. And when I drove up, the light sparked and went out, right? And the barista was like, what the hell? That's never happened before. I was like, hmm, it happens to me all the time. <laughs> Sometimes the light bulbs can't handle, they can't handle my energy, you guys. Um... Denzo just did a video, uh, Breaking Impasse Free. Um, he just did a video. I share him on my community, on Spirit House community tab, for those of you that don't know. Um, and he just did a video about high vibrational beings and 10 things. Well, he forgot the light bulbs. <laughs> um, but that happens to me all the time with energy. 
anytime I, you know, I'm around any kind of energy, the lights do something weird usually, especially if I'm vibrating extremely high at that moment. Um, like there's been times, and, and y'all don't believe me. Y'all want to, y'all want facts. Y'all want to see it for yourself. <laughs> okay, this is just through the airwaves. I didn't even show up in James's house. Um, I shared on my community post on Spirit Isles community tab. Y'all go check it out. But I shared on there um, this guy that's been doing black magic on me, trying to get me to come to him. He's been doing love spells and it's not working at all. And he needs to just stop because the poor guy's going to really end up hurting himself really bad. But anyways, it's on there and y'all can go look. Um, I write this whole paragraph about it. But um, when I entered the chat, it shows it on the video. When I entered the chat, the light bulb, he pulled up the temperance card, which is the angel, the angel card, an earth angel, divine protection. When I entered the chat and he pulled up the angel card, the light flickered. That was, that was when I entered. Okay. So that's just through airwaves. All right. Um, those with eyes to see and ears to hear. And also there's been times when, you know, I've just been going for a walk at night. And literally when I pass by the streetlights, as I pass by them, they turn on. Just like that. <laughs> it's just my Abba. Let me know I ain't alone, baby. It ain't just me, okay? It's the orphans and seraphims and all the protection that I have around me, you know. My son and my daughter have the same thing. They walked into a room before and the whole house flickered because my kids aren't alone, right? But, um, yeah, so I thought, I always thought that was interesting. Anywho, let's get some info for you guys. Pepper Dragon, you guys are very versatile, right? You can bob, weave, uh, up and down. Um, you're like the queen on the chessboard. You can go anywhere, in all directions, right? It's not about, um, you're not stuck, right? You can do, you can go any way you want and do it however you want. You're pretty much at a level where you ain't even got to really, I mean, like you don't even really have to ask permission because I was like, I trust you. You decide. Because you've earned your stripes to that point. Right? And that is a beautiful place to be, guys. Let me tell you, I love it. Alright, let's get some more. If you're not there, don't feel bad. You know, but definitely work to get there. Because it's a great accomplishment with ABBA. Um, you guys, like I said, you're versatile and you can multitask. You may be able to sing. You may be able to do art. You may be able to dance. You may be able to um, box. You may be able to <laughs> read cards. You may be able to do many different things, right? Cook, um, play guitar. You name it, you can do it, right? I'm speaking to my uh, divine beings here. If not those things, you can do other things, right? And you can do them all at once or do them separately. It doesn't matter, but you're very talented. You're very gifted. Okay? Peanut butter. Companion. Somebody has a companion headed their way. All right? You may got, you guys may have alliances that you're drawing in the sand right now in the spirit realm. You're making your uh, alliances with certain people that Ava wants you to align with on your journey. Okay, to be a part of this great thing that's going down, this prophecy that's in the world right now. And you have strength, my friend. You are very strong. Okay? People that think that they're stronger than you learn real quick that they ain't. <laughs> They ignore the warnings and find out the hard way, right? Because you give all the glory to Abba. That's what makes you so strong. That's what people don't seem to get that. See, when you only talk about yourself and you only build yourself up, you're actually making yourself weaker. When you give the glory to Abba, bro, that's where your strength's at. Because... 
the pride are going to fall on their face. The proud will fall on the face, okay? He will humble the proud, and he will raise the humble up, okay? That's just reality, folks. Sorry if you don't like it. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Uh, funny. I love you guys. I missed y'all. It was hard. Y'all, it was the hardest thing ever for me to just not, like, because I post on Spirit Owl all the time. For those of you that don't know, I have seven other channels. And um, Spirit Owl of September, they're pinned in the comments if y'all want to go scope them. And Spirit Owl of September is where I post all my stuff. I guess it was because it was my first channel. I don't know. Um, it's also to kind of get people out of their comfort zone. Christians who, you know, are, you know, in a comfortable zone of judging people and light workers who are in a comfortable zone of judging Christians. You know, I kind of bring them all together on that. It's all strategic, okay? But anyways, I just randomly post on there all the time. Sometimes I don't post at all. You just never know what spirit I was up to. But when I do post, sometimes it's a lot, sometimes it's not. But I, I like to be free to do it, right? And when Abba's like, no, you have to rest. I was like, ah! It was so hard, you guys. But I'm so glad I did because now I'm like reinvigorated. I am refreshed. I am feeling like I'm on top of the world. And I'm fixing to give you guys a whole bunch of awesome videos, okay? So we're going to get it. On every channel, not just this one. But of course, um, I ha couldn't forget my ancient shiny ones. I couldn't forget my ancient shiny ones. Hello. Alright. We have intention. Okay, number 22. Didn't I just say it was 222 on the clock? Oh, <laughs> as if I didn't already have confirmation my angels were with me. See, Abba likes to be very thorough. Um, stuck in the mud, number 24. All right, we're going to we're gonna get a couple of these, okay? There's a synchronicity, too. 22 breaks down to a 4. 24 breaks down to a 6, but there's another 4 in this card. We have Spark, 34. And 35. Look at that. You guys. 22, 24, 34, 35. Breaks down to a 7. Breaks down to an 8. 4, 6, 7, 8. All we're missing is 5. Interesting. So we have education. What an interest, interesting synchronicity. You guys might want, might want to look up the angel number 4. Six, seven, eight. Some of you. Okay. And then let me get just a couple more. Whoa, that one threw out. Another four. 31 breaks down to, or 13 breaks down to a four. Solitude. I love elephants, by the way. Um, a white elephant is my animal spirit guide. One more. Making a choice. Number 30 breaks down to a three. We have three, three, three here. Four, four. All right. Dragon's Lair at the bottom of the deck. We're not going to take that one, but I do have an animal spirit guide that is a rainbow dragon. It leads the rainbow warriors, and it is a beast. People don't understand. They miss it with the wrong one. It's the wrong one. <laughs> and I've actually had people try to steal my spirit guides, you guys. It's hilarious to me. I'm like, you do know they choose you, right? Like. <laughs> okay, we got to leave that there. Let's start with stuck in the mud, okay? Some of y'all may feel like you're stuck in the mud, 24. Some of you may have gotten it out of the mud, right? But let's go to this card and read what it says here. Okay. Okay. 
So it says you're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of life. It did come out in the upright. All of these cards did. So it says becoming stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you to even muddier places. Yeah, when my son saw the video about James doing love spells on me, he's like, that boy is in quicksand. And he's like, he's got one arm out. And he's like, if he says or does anything else, he's going to be up to the quicksand in his eyeballs. I was like, I know. It's not like he ain't been warned. Like, I mean, people just don't understand. Anyways, now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Soon you'll be out in the mud. Oh, soon you'll be out of the mud. But for now, be still and know that spirit has a plan for you. I love this. I love this because a lot of times you guys, like say for instance, we're stuck in traffic, okay? Look at this. Look at the little bird on the back of the elephant. It looks like the elephant's playing in the mud. It's so cute. So a lot of times that we think right? It's an inconvenience. Whatever you're going through at that time, it's actually for your betterment. It really isn't an inconvenience. Like say you're stuck at a stoplight, right? And you're like, oh, you were trying to make it through. Well, if you had gone through that stoplight, it's very possible that someone else would have ran the other light and hit you. And your angels knew that, right? So they changed the light right in the nick of time. Because a lot of spiritual warfare may be sending, being sent your way. Like my friends, my homies and peeps, they know. They know um, the amount of spiritual warfare being sent my way. And they know if they open up their voices and stand up for me, you know, the people that hate me are going to come for them. The shadow is going to come for them. But they're not afraid because they know they have the same protection I do plus their own protection. Right? That's a lot of, that's a big old army. In the spirit round, baby. And we be going, ho, 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 ho. You know, we ain't afraid. Our only fear is grieving the Holy Spirit. So we ready. And the thing is, is Abba kind of wants you to be like this little bird, right? See how the elephant's like playing in the mud? The elephant isn't like, you know, mad that it's getting muddy. The elephant is having fun in the mud, right? And the little bird up here is like having fun sitting on the back of the elephant's back, just like, la da da right? So anytime you feel like you're in some type of inconvenience, remember that it is probably more for your protection than anything else, especially for my ancient shiny ones. Now, if you've done something bad, if you've sowed bad seed or done something to reap bad karma, then that's a whole nother ball game. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about people who have sowed good seed, okay? And they feel like they're not reaping a harvest yet. All right, they feel like they're coming up against a wall after wall after wall. I want you guys to keep going, okay? Because I promise you that whatever you're going through right now, it's building your character. It's making you have more integrity. It's making you stand on your morals. It's making you become stronger in the spirit. And you're going to rise above this even more knowledgeable than you were and have more wisdom than you did before. All right? So just focus on it like that. Keep, you know, a lot of people say either the cup's half full or the, the cup is half empty. My motto is the cup is always full, baby, because even if it ain't half full with wine, it's half full with oxygen, and we overflowing, okay? That cup is always overflowing, you understand? It's always full, baby. All right, so now we're going to go to 22, Intention. But I really want you guys to start changing your mindset about things that you feel like may be an inconvenience for you. Because it is definitely something for you to, it's probably more than anything else, and I'll be honest with you, Abba likes to build our fruit of patience. Okay? Long suffering. That's another definition of patience. Okay, and anyone who has suffered 
Yeah, you can give him that one. I'll just get another one. But I have some drawing pencils too. If you, but give him those for right now. Sorry, y'all. My daughter's trying to get my son's. My son has had some visions and dreams lately that are really awesome, and he's gonna start drawing them. I'm so excited for him because it's definitely gonna help him with um, his destiny. I know um, because some of the stuff is so awesome, and he's a really good artist. Um, he's just like me, you know, ultimate talented, and so is my daughter. So. Um, they're definitely, you know, definitely doing their part to change humanity. And my daughter, my son just said, I need a drawing pencil and, um, you know, some drawing pads. And me and my daughter both have some, but neither one of us wanted to really give it up. And she decided to share her pencil and I decided to, I have a, uh, journal over there that I haven't, um, opened yet. It's still in the plastic. She's like, give it, can I give it to someone? I was like, I guess uh, I'll get another one, you know. Because that one was, I was going to use for something else, but it's fine. It's brand new. It's perfect for him. He can have it. Okay, sorry, squirrel. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, with this card, a lot of times, I was trying to build your fruit of patience. Okay? Because when you have a fruit of patience, you guys, <laughs> nothing can phase you. Did you hear me? Repeat that. Nothing, no thing can phase you because you're patient. You ain't worried. Don't worry. Be happy. It's like the tortoise in the race, right? With the hair. Right? He ain't in no hurry. And he ain't worried. He's like, hey, how you doing? You know? <laughs> he wins. Right? So Abba wants us to learn how to be like that. And also ladybugs may be very significant. Uh, I know Mystic Sunflower, um... She had 17 ladybugs on her doorknob one time. She said she came back from Hawaii, I think, or something. Um, I think that was super awesome. So, uh, Mystic, if you're watching this, I just noticed there are three ladybugs in their card. So, that's a sign for you, my dear. Or anyone else who has ladybugs. Um, ladybug is a sign of luck. Okay, we got three, baby! All right, there's an owl on top of this egg. Let's move on. It says, Intention. Deliberate, clear intentions have the power to change your world. And this is so true. And it's so important to have pure intentions. Y'all know that song, Bad Intentions, or whatever. I don't even know how it goes. Um, I just think it's a horrible song. But I used to have a friend that would sing it all the time and blare it around me. And she thought, well, I shouldn't say friend. I should say associate. Other people in the room knew that she had bad intentions toward me and that she was doing spell work. What they all failed to not realize is that I knew the same thing. But see, I knew that I would leave their presence, never come back, and they would not be allowed anywhere near me, and they would have no other choice but to self-reflect on the karma that they were going to have to go through. And that's what's happening right now to these folks. So always have good intentions, always have pure intentions, and don't listen to music that talks about bad intentions, guys, that only messes with your subconscious it doesn't help you all right your objectives will be fulfilled at this time inspired intentions are like magic arrows shot into the sky okay the universe is bringing you a gift ooh, ooh, showing you that you're hitting your mark baby recognize that you're not the one who has to do all the work that's right we work with god we're not alone we ain't out here you know getting it out of the mud by ourselves god is with us Right? We're not alone. We always ask God for help. If you feel depleted, if you feel sad, if you feel angry, if you feel, you know, whatever. If you're feeling overwhelmed, that means it's time to ask God to help you. You never try to do stuff without God's help. Ever. Always ask God to help you. Okay? Um, others help you co-create reality. You connect to the power of your intention. Sending it out into the field and then allow for synchronicity to work its magic. Perhaps the good intentions of others will inspire you to send out beautiful ones of your own. Own the life you want to lead and live deliberately with clarity and detachment. I love this. This is so good. Um, you guys may be seeing a lot of synchronicities. Obviously, there are a lot in just this reading alone, right? 
because right now I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, right? Three and three makes six. And then we have seven. All right, so y'all may want to look up that angel number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so let's see here. Let's go to solitude number 13. Sometimes it's important to be a hermit. Okay, even if you are an extrovert, actually, if you are an extrovert, it's even more important to learn to love your solitude and to learn to really... Um, be happy being alone because if you're an extrovert, you struggle more with that. Introverts, not so much. They love to be alone, okay? They really need to work on being around other people. That's their weakness, right? They need to strengthen being around other people. But extroverts need to strengthen being alone, okay? So I may be talking to some extroverts here, all right? So it says, I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. An ambivert pretty much has balance they know they can be around people and they can be by themselves um, they have to have their alone time just like an introvert right and they're pretty good at being balanced I'm an ambivert but you know to each their own there's no one that's better than the other it's just you know something we can all learn and grow on right it says meditate is re meditation is required when you are when you receive the solitude card as a sign Empty your mind of super, superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period for conscious retreat, which is what I just did. So maybe some of you watching need to do what I did, right? Just take some time out for yourself. Don't get everybody all your attention. Pour all of that love and whatever you, you usually do for others into yourself for a week or a few days until you feel your cup overflow, right? Um, what's called for now is to step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of a much needed rest and time out. Yes, I just did that and I feel awesome. So I definitely uh, recommend it. All right, so we have 30, making a choice. Everything we do is a choice, guys. Everything we do, even our thoughts, if we choose to entertain thoughts, if we choose to take them in and digest them, if we choose to cast them back out, cast them down, right? Casting down every high and lofty thought to the feet of Christ. Um, it's all a choice. So make sure you're making wise choices and decisions. Okay, this says, you're faced with a dilemma or a fork in the road. You are required to come to a decision. So someone here, either now, in the past, or in the near future, you're going to be required to make a choice, okay? Make a conscious choice regarding the next right action. Okay, whatever that choice is, you must take responsibility for it, yet you needn't be afraid. Okay, you may not have all the answers right now because the way ahead can't be known until you've embarked and traveled a few steps. Trust your intuition, ask for a sign from spirit, and you will be led to the right path. If you remain conscious and aware, your choice will be the right one. At this time, life is always about learning. Success lies in choosing consciously, guided by intuition and spirit. Okay? Um, spiritual Renaissance. I used to share him on my community. I had to unsubscribe from him because it seemed like he was becoming jealous of me and trying to comp compete, you know, so I just really didn't have the energy to go through that low vibrational behavior, so I just unsubscribed, but I do think, you know, he means well, and I don't mean any negative toward him, but uh, one time I did quote him, and his one sentence was, be conscious, and I thought that was great, you know, so um, definitely make conscious decisions, guys. Just because I'm not subscribed to you doesn't mean I don't love you. I do. I love everyone. I get rid of all that negative energy. I don't hold grudges. I don't keep things hanging over people's head. I don't do any of that. I get rid of all that negative energy and, you know, 
I'm floating in the light, okay? We ain't worried about you. We ain't worried about all that. We love you, okay? Me, myself, and I. No, <laughs> Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? I'm just saying it's not anything to take personal. It's just I can't be connected to people in lower vibrations. I have to stay vibrating very high if I want to continue to grow, okay? All right, so number 34 says spark and look at this it's this beautiful nymph and she's playing the violin and these hearts are coming off of her strings what a gorgeous picture right and it says you are a clear channel for divine creativity there is a spark of creativity in you and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope whoop, whoop! somebody dropped the mic on that Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. This is the perfect time to give birth to an idea, start a new relationship or job, or begin any endeavor. Okay, this is a great time to do that for you guys. Attraction is high as you connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turn to a flame and stoking that fire is a gratifying activity. It's, it really is, you know, it really is. It's so much fun to just fly with the divine. Be like this nymph here. Look at her. She's playing heartbeats. Isn't that stunning? I just love that. Okay. And then the last one says 35, education, okay? And, 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 and this is a big one. A lot of people, you know, I only give three warnings now. I've honed it down to three warnings. And a lot of people just don't have a teachable spirit, okay? A lot of people think they already know everything. And the Bible is very clear to have a teachable spirit, Okay? And, um, you know, it's so important to be willing to learn from everyone. Like a true master knows you can learn from a child. You can learn from a flower. You can learn from an, a, a wise sage. You can learn from another mystic. You can learn from everything and everyone. You can learn from your closet. Okay. You can learn from your pet. Everything is your teacher. Okay. A true master knows that. And they learn. They're willing to learn. You know, they're not thinking, they're not all puffed up with pride thinking they know everything and they're trying to prove everybody else wrong. Right? Okay. So it says, life is filled with lessons be teachable. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. Uh, I'm going to say that again. Wisdom comes from participating in life, not just reading about it. This card suggests that you might not have enough knowledge about what you seek, the direction to take, your circumstances, or the nature of your inquiry. Important information is coming. Now is the time to go to school. Ask a person who might know more than you do, or find a teacher or a course of study so that you can more clearly understand what the next right action must be. Sometimes life unexpectedly sends you to an unfamiliar school. Boy, ain't that the truth. When y'all read my biography, y'all are going to see that. Um, and you must learn by experience, okay? Um, now is the time to be teachable. Open to changing your preconceived notions. Be a student and be willing to state the most powerful mantra of all. I don't know yet. And this is so true, you guys. Why do you think I connect with other mystics, other psychics, um, other teachers, other people? You know, a lot of the ones that I have cut off, right? I'm willing to learn from them, but they're not willing to learn from me. It isn't a give and take. It's only a take, take, take. The ones that take and take and take from me are cut off. Because there are things that I know that they don't. And I give them that information, right? There are things that they know that I don't, and I learn from them, right? But when it's not a give and take, 
that's when you have to do, you have to release them because they're not on your vibration. They do not have a teachable spirit. They're stubborn and they think they know everything. The people that I surround myself with, we learn from each other. We're all growing. We're all on this journey. We all hold each other in high regard. We all respect each other. We all hold each other with um, value. Okay? We all hold each other in high regard. And we respect each other's opinion. And we all know we're being led, it, led by the spirit of love. Right? And God is love. Okay? So, um, we have an understanding. All right? And so, it's very important that you learn how to have a teachable spirit, guys. Okay? That was for somebody. All right. I love you guys so much. I'm sorry this video went on so long. I did not mean for it to, but I haven't seen you guys in forever. And uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my other channels. And, um... Your girl be back. God willing. Mwah, mwah, mwah.